Hey, what's up, YouTube? Can't stand land back with a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint white midsoles or soles um, from an old shoe or yellowed out if you guys don't feel like um, retro brighting them to get the oxidation out. So, alright. Right here we have the Jordan 13 Low. Um, very old sneaker. Uh, has a couple of heel drags here, and some of the uh, the tread on the bottom is smooth now. So um, the video pretty much is going to show you how to paint these spots over with white uh, paint. Um, the paint we're using is uh, Angelus paint. You can search all over YouTube um, how to paint sneakers. Uh, they will show you that this is the best one to buy so um, I went ahead and pick it up, this is about four dollars on eBay you guys can probably get it cheaper somewhere else but um, so this is what we're going to use right. and before you start you want to get a bottle of uh, some acetone or nail polish remover um, what it does is pretty much take off the the top surface from the factory uh, to seal it in. So you want to take that off until it feels a little bit rubbery or tacky. Uh, so when you have that, um, just clean it up real good and then take the brush out and start painting with the uh, Angelus paint. Uh, with a nail polish remover you can use either uh, Q-tips if you want to be safe or just a regular cotton ball. Um, to make things faster so that's up to you uh, I'm gonna be using the q-tips cuz that's all I have right now and uh, uh, yeah it's pretty much all you really need um, between each coat I would leave it, uh, leave it at least an hour two hours uh, if you want you can even do a whole day to be safe um, you would need at least two to three coats on this I would say because of uh, you know when you lay it on with the brush it's very very um milky white you know it's not solid completely maybe two or three layers it'll look perfect uh you could use tape painter's tape to tape around the edges but um that depends on your skill level uh, for me um i'm pretty good with the brush already so uh, i won't be needing that so yeah we're gonna try to restore these uh these are 13 lows, make them look brand new. Alright. Alright, start off. You're going to need to get uh, the cap of your um, acetone or nail polish remover and just pour it right in. Into it. Just enough. So we can you dip the q tip or the cotton ball in. Okay. So, what you want to do, take the tip. Soak it in pretty good. And you go wipe it on the edge if you want just to get some excess off. And then just just like that. Just push a little bit against it and try to take that top layer of paint off. Now acetone does um, dissolve in the air quickly. So you might have to go and do a second dip. Um, in this case we're using the pod uh, on this 13 low. There's a smaller surface area. Some people might paint um, a whole midsole, like maybe Air Force Ones, and that takes a lot, uh, a lot of time because it's a bigger surface area. And if you do get some on the, um, in this case, the suede, uh, you'll be okay. I just kind of brush it off. I would say, uh, you know, like right here, it shows it's a little darker because it's soaked in but in time it'll dry away I believe so you'll be okay so just go over there a couple times on the pots make sure you get deep in there because you want to take off as much of the layer as possible that way the paint will stick Okay. just reverse it around use the other end of the q-tip and go with the uh, the other side here the other section you want to be careful you don't put too much or too little 
like I said, if you don't feel comfortable, just use a uh, tape to tape up the surface. Okay, when you're done, you can just toss that out and use another one. Make sure you throw away your Q-tips after you're done using them. Okay, so what you end up with is um, the first coat right there. Hope you can see it. Uh, you can still see through it a little bit, so you can see kind of layers of the brush strokes. But uh, after like maybe two or three coats, I would say three, it will look perfect. So um, what it used to look like and what it will look like once you finish. Get a closer look on that.